Hi, Sarah here with the layout process video for you today. This one is for the paper, pen and plan creative team. So uh, Claire sent me one of the sweet treat boxes for January. So I'm creating with that today and I'm going to be making a layout featuring my baby boy Jemis. So first off, I've fully cut out my photo. I'm getting quite into doing that at the moment. I've been liking to um, collage around the picture rather than just leave it with the background in, which is kind of handy when you've got small children and there's always mess behind them in your pictures. It's dead annoying when you try and take a lovely picture and then there's like, I don't know, a sock in the background <laughs> or like a pile of clothes or toys or something. So it worked out really well just to be able to fussy cut out all the all the mess. <laughs> so all I've done here is cut out um, some of the papers that came in the box. I'm following, you saw at the beginning, uh, a quick peek at the sketch. There's um, lots of um, inspiration that come in the box in a little worksheet. So I'm using the sketch and I'm just layering up these papers at different angles just to kind of add a little interest. And then I use that lovely gold bow paper clip as well in the corner just because it's cute. And now I'm taking the pink ink that came in the kit and combining that with some little rainbow moon paints to create a ombre effect background here. And... As you can see, I'm just layering up the pink and greys together. I blend one layer together and then I let it dry and then I go back in and add some more afterwards once it's all dry. And as you can see, I'm just bringing in my photo to see how I think it's looking if I feel it needs a bit more colour. I feel like it does need more of that light pink ink that came in the box and also I deepen the colours a little at the bottom as well just until I'm happy with it and then um, I'll carry on creating the layout so I'm literally just going back and forth to create that middle section into an ombre it's amazing how well pink and grey actually go together so well when they blend in watercolours I don't know if it works for everything but um, it's always best just to experiment I think if something doesn't work out just turn your page over and use the opposite side <laughs> that's what I usually do I'm also adding some texture to the bottom this is to match in with one of the elements out of the sketch and I'm not using texture paste I'm using heavy gesso which I also got from Claire's shop um, this is by Prima it's really thick so you can use it like a texture paste it also works wonderfully on if you want to alter an item so it it goes over metal it goes over wood really well so I've also taken a sponge and I'm using a little bit more a little goes a long way for this technique as well and just sponging on um, some of that white gesso um, through the hearts of the stencil and I'm just using the big ones not the line of them underneath and because I'm using that sponge I can direct it so it's only using that half of the stencil and as a finishing touch on the background uh, before I move on I'm just adding a few splashes I've just added some water with a fan brush and I'm just adding some splashes of white gesso to the background as well now I've sponged on some more of that gesso just onto that love um, wood piece there and then I'm adding a layer of pink onto that as well. That pink paint's quite shimmery, so it looked really nice. It's um, added a little shimmery effect to it and just adding a second layer there as well. And now all I've done here is just added that um, heart-shaped doily from my stash to the back of there. And now I'm using a sticker which also came on a sticker sheet in the, um, in the Sweet Treat box. And it did come with pom-poms as well, but for this one I wanted to go with a softer colour, so I've gone for this um, softer, um, minty kind of coloured pom-pom trim from my stash, which quite possibly could have been from an earlier um, Sweet Treat box anyway. And I'm just adding an extra sticker from the uh, Sweet Treat box, and then I'm a flower and 
that little angel embellishment from my stash of goodies and now I'm just doing a little bit of journaling at the bottom there just uh, about the picture and I'm pretty much done now I add just a final dash of gold paint here which I chose the one that matched in perfectly with that gold uh, bow clip and it, also the gold within that flower there's a little bit of a gold rim around the um, the pearl and I'm just adding a few splashes of that here and there which you'll see in the close-ups and that is me done so thanks for joining me today um, I hope you'll go and check out paper pen and plan I will leave the link in the description below i've also got my discount code if you decide to buy anything and that is sarah 10 so if you do want to use that then please feel free and i will see you hopefully in another video soon have a great day everyone bye